I love graphic tees for myself and for my kids because they show off your personality and make a statement. I'm with Christopher Straub and he's going to show me how to make my own screen printed tees so I can have exactly what I want. Whatever Absolutely. I want. Absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be fun because we're going to make our own designs and then this is a screen that you can use over and over and over again. It's not one that's going to wear out right away. You can only do one or two things. Like you could print a whole team's worth of jerseys with this process. That's so this is going to be really fun. That's a really fun idea because a lot of times my kids might have a group that's going somewhere or and it's not a big enough group to order custom tees from a place because it would be really expensive so mm -hmm. we can do it ourselves. Absolutely and on the cheap. On the, I like it. So all right. Like on the cheap. Okay. All right so let's go through all the list of things that we need. All right start with your t-shirt. All right okay. so I've got my t-shirt here. You've got your t-shirt. We're ready to roll. Our vinyl. And so we've got clear vinyl here and clear is going to work the best. And also you can use any kind of vinyl, but make sure it's not um, fabric backed because there's some vinyl that has a woven back on it. You don't want to use that because that fabric is going to absorb the ink. Okay. All right. Yep. And we're going to need our graphic image. And so this is something that you can draw yourself or you can go online, just use Google images, find something that works for you. I'm going to do a dinosaur just like I did here. This was my sample one. And you and I had talked about how I like feathers. Yes. So we're going to do this. I already, this already seems daunting to me. I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to get this shape cut out, but you're going to help me with that. I'm going to help you every step of the way. Okay. The next little tools that we're going to need are, we're going to need a Sharpie marker. Okay, and that's going to help us trace, yep, our cutting tool. So we're using X-Acto knives. Mm -hmm. That's going to help us cut our vinyl. And these are really sharp. I mean, this is a, a grown-up project or an older Absolutely. Older and then we're just going to use basic tape. We've got foam brushes, a bowl to hold our ink. Just a disposable bowl, which is nice because then we can just toss these when we're done. Exactly. And they're Easy, so right? inexpensive. And also these foam brushes are so cheap too. They're like 25 cents each. Mm -hmm. And then um, we've got our cutting board that we have down here and then also some cardboard uh, that we're going to use to insert into the shirt just so that the, the inks don't bleed through. Right, so you don't want it to bleed onto the back. Exactly, so you're ready to get started. Oh, and our I ink. And then, I know, I was wondering, is this just a fabric paint or what so is So this it? is screen printing ink. I got this at, uh, you know, a craft store. Mm -hmm. This ink okay. is not too expensive. And it does say textile screen printing ink, different than fabric paint. I think it's an important differentiation. Exactly. All right, so first, grab your image. I know you're, you're scared, but I'm going to walk you through, like I said, every okay. step. And then your vinyl. Because what we want to do is, I'll show you before I ask you to tape, but we are going to put our graphic underneath the vinyl and then trace around the entire perimeter. Actually, what we're going to do is tape the paper to the back of the vinyl. So just like that. And you can go around uh, the whole perimeter just with a couple pieces of tape. All right, so turn your vinyl over. So now we're just going to take our Sharpie marker and go around and trace the entire perimeter of the image, okay? So using your, your X-Acto knife, go in and you're going to want to cut around everything. And, um, and I'll tell you that this process can take a little bit of time and it's, it's good to move your body as well as moving the stencil as you go. All right, now what we're left with is actually two pieces. So we have our negative space one that I used to make this shirt. And then we have this positive space one that I'm actually going to use uh, the one I demonstrate today. Mm -hmm. I think something like this would look great mm -hmm. coming off of the shoulder or coming off of the hip. I think those would really add to the t-shirt and make it even more custom. You're going to tape down your stencil, okay? So go ahead and lay that flat. Start taping around there. And so this is just cardboard to help prevent um, bleeding from the underside or through the layers. Okay, so I've got my cardboard in there. I've got my feather taped down. Okay, so take your ink and you're going to want to pour just a little bit into the bowl. You don't need a ton, okay? 
And per the usual, I already have paint on myself. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to roll. And that rolling is good because it's not, we're not stabbing, so because that's going to pick up the stencil. We want to roll and we don't want to smear because that'll push everything aside, okay? So go ahead and remove all the tape, very slowly holding down the stencil, and then, yep, slowly lift up, releasing any paint. Just keep lifting straight up. I feel it. Look at that. I did it. It's pretty cute. Why were you afraid? I don't know. You did such a good job. Well, only because you taught me. Eh, that's what I do. <laughs> Ta-da. I know a lot of little boys who would love to wear that. And big boys, obviously, too. Me. Yes, but that turned out really great. Well, thank you. Well, now you can do this stuff, too. I'm going to. I'm glad you enjoyed the t-shirts, but we don't have to just stop at that. We can do tote bags. I did a couple samples here. Here's another little dino. That looks great. And here's our feather again. And, and even, you can do multimedia stuff. Like I did this little stripe first and then did the stencil. Or you can do this and you can take your Sharpie and outline it or do some script or some words on there too. You could do pillows, you could do aprons, you could do all sorts of things. Endless possibilities. Endless so thank you so much for teaching me how to do this. I'm definitely going to do it at home. Fun, easy, it's always a pleasure. Hey, thank you.